Now back up, put the gun down, and give me a pack of Tropical Fruit Bubblicious. How's it going, people? Welcome to another review by me. This time, I am talking about the third film in the neck or in the Bad Boys films, Bad Boys for Life. So yeah, so um, what I'll do is I'll give you my brief synopsis, and then I will go into my little non-spoiler review, and then I will give you a full warning with the timestamp, and then I'll go into spoilers. And then at the end of the video, I will give um, like my star rating. But like I say, if you don't want me spoiled, there'll be a time stamp telling you where to skip to and all that jazz. So yeah, anyway. Um, so yeah, okay. So I'll give you a bit of a synopsis about this one. Um, so yeah, so Detective Mike Lowry and um, Detective Marcus Burnett are back uh, again for what they're saying is one final ride um mike um for some reason has been and uh, is, is amongst a group of other people who have been targeted and um yeah the bad boys have got to try and sort it out with some help along the way i guess there we go that's your best that you're going to get for synopsis um so yeah so okay Obviously, this stars Martin Lawrence as Mark Burnett and uh, Will Smith as Mike Lowry. Um, we've also got um, Joe Pantoliano uh, returning as Captain Howard, which is good because he's funny. Yeah. Um, and then we've got like a whole uh, other new crew of people, um, ranging from Vanessa Hudgens, Alexander Ludwig, uh, Paula Nunez, I think that's how you say her name, and Charles Melton. Um, yeah, so yeah, um, oh, and um, Jacob uh, Scipio, I think that's how you say his last name, but yeah, so yeah, um, a few points about this, my little non-spoiler review, it's not that good, um, it's nowhere near as good as Bad Boys 1 and 2, especially Bad Boys 2, um, the banter's still there, yeah, between Martin Lawrence and Will Smith, that's kind of funny. Um, they had a bit of a bit of back and forth, which is always good fun to watch. There's a trademark slow mo shots, plenty of those, like yeah, and the old pan arounds and stuff. But this isn't done by Michael Bay this time, um, and like it's cinematically, it's not that really interesting to look at, you know, if uh, that makes sense. Um, then like. Yeah, it's not as action-packed either, really. I didn't think it was there was as much action as there was um, in like the first and second ones. Maybe that's just because it's Martin Lawrence and, and Will Smith are getting on a bit. I mean, Martin Lawrence is he's not looking like an action man at the moment. <laughs> Will Smith still does, but, you know, maybe it's Will Smith. Um, but yeah, it's it's a long film as well. Um, it's yeah it, I felt it could have been shortened quite a bit really um, I, I don't know I don't know what else to really say about that without going into to spoilers really but yeah it wasn't that great um, a bit funny in bits like but fucking arse numbingly long and it didn't need to be that long um, and in all honesty it felt like a bit of an unnecessary film it didn't really feel like there was any point in making it but they did so yeah there you go that's my non-spoiler review um go and check it out if you want to um if you don't want to be spoiled then skip to here on the video and you will not be spoiled then and you can see what my final thoughts are um and my, my star rating is so yeah there you go if you're not you know already subscribed and you're liking the stuff subscribe uh, that'd be really nice. Um, also, you can like the videos or dislike the videos or do whatever. Leave comments. You know, you know how it works. It's YouTube. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So thank you for joining me. If you don't want to continue to the end, um, and like you know, if you don't want to skip to the spoiler-free bit, um, yeah. Thank you. Pleasure having you. So yeah. Anyway, spoiler people. Here we go. Okay. Huh. So yeah. So I said that this film felt like it didn't really need to be made. It was 
uh, yeah, it was long and boring, really. Um, and like, like I said, there's like loads of new characters that get introduced in this that are just, well, that again, pointless. I didn't see the point in them. It's like, they're really throwaway. There's not much like fleshing out done. Um, there's this new team called Ammo, because like my Lawrence, that's okay, so here we go. My Lawrence wants to retire, like, and Will Smith doesn't want to retire. And so they have like this race to see like whichever one of them wins, it goes their way basically. Um, and when they do this, Will Smith gets shot up, like okay, by uh, some random assassin on a, on a motorbike, um, and like nearly dies, but doesn't. Okay, so they want to find out who it is, like and stuff. And Mike Lyons ends up jumping back in by getting involved and stuff. But they got this new team called Ammo who are involved with, and like the leader of them is like an old flame of Mike's, and it's just like okay, whatever. I've never seen her before, but okay. Um, and it's like you know, it consists of like, uh, so you got okay, you got Vanessa Hutchins as Kelly, um, Charles Melton as Rafe, uh, and Alexander Ludwig as Dawn. Now, and out of all of the out of all the characters, I think I might be missing one. I don't think I am though. But out of all the characters uh, out in Ammo, the only one who really gets any sort of backstory is Dawn, and he's the only one you actually give a shit about. So, yeah, just again, they were just so throwaway. It just seemed really pointless. Like, um, and like the, there's the big villain twist. So yeah, so the guy who's trying to assassinate um, like Will Smith, Will Smith, and like these other people. Um, they, they, well, Will Smith figures out that it links back to this woman again, another old flame of Mike's back before he like started working with um, Marcus, like Mike, Mike Lawrence. Like, um, he was like a deep cover and he got with this mob boss's wife who's calls herself a witch and stuff and ended up having a fucking kid with her without realizing, like, he basically knocked her up and then she got locked up. She got yeah, so she got knocked up and locked up, and um, yeah, and so she got, so she gave birth whilst in prison, and obviously Mike didn't know about this, and so she she basically raises her son to believe that Mike killed her father, killed his father, and like basically turned him into a psychopath, like who wants to just kill Mike in the worst way possible, um, and like there's a big like the big twist in the end obviously is obviously that it's will smith's son and it's like oh okay and then like he he ends up fucking they end up in a big battle and shit at the end man and stuff it's like oh it's it's really not that interesting it's really really not and like and anyway and like this film's being like touted as like the bad boy's last outing okay all right, if that's the case, then why the fuck did they end it with like a massive sequel bait? Like, like Mike's son's locked up, and then Mike basically visits his son in prison and says, like, you know, you want to like shorten your sentence. It's like by doing something, and then it cuts like so. That, it's like, what? It's like really? You're gonna make another one of these, or you're gonna do a spin-off? It's like what? How the fuck can you do that? It, I, it's, yeah, it didn't, it didn't really make much sense. It was, yeah. The more I think about it, it's just stupid, really. So yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I wish I could have said it was better, but I, yeah, I was fucking bored. I was just fucking bored, and yeah. By the end of it, I was just like, eh, ah, okay, me. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, um, um, yeah, so the star rating for this, I'm going to give it two stars. Yeah, that's it. Two stars, man. Not a very good film. Could have been way better. Anyway, so anyway, that's my review for Bad Boys for Life. I wish it could have been a bit more of an exciting film, but yeah, you know, shit happens. So anyway... I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, uh, like I say, uh, 
if you're not subscribed please subscribe it'd be nice and you know there's plenty more of this shit from me coming so yeah something to look forward to and get yourself notified as well by ringing that bell um like i say yeah leave your comments below if you like seen this film and like you thought it was shit as shit as i did or if you actually really really liked it and think that i'm talking a load of shite and nonsense then let me know why not um yeah um like the video as well that'd be great or dislike it if you'd really really hate it up to you really you are the master of that one uh so anyway yeah i'm gonna leave it at that um yeah bad boys for life so anyway thank you for joining me i will catch you on the next video bye